Hey guys, Mr. B here again. I'm going to take you through multiplying polynomials by a constant and multiplying polynomials by a monomial. That's all we really need to know, okay? Um, so if you're multiplying polynomials by a constant, what you really had to remember is the distribution property, okay? So the distribution property states that if we have a number outside the brackets here, a negative 6, it's distributed to each thing inside the bracket. So it goes to this right here goes to this right here, and it goes to this right here. So we have to multiply everything inside the bracket. So essentially what we have here, in expanded form, we expand it is what we say, is negative 6 times 4x squared plus negative 6. Let's see, I'll put that in brackets. Negative 6 times negative 5x plus negative 6 times 1. Okay, so I multiplied each thing, each term inside the bracket by um, negative 6. So now, multiplying each one of these little monomials here, um, I have to multiply the coefficients. Okay, when I'm multiplying a monomial by a constant, I just multiply the coefficients. So I have negative 6 times 4, that's negative 24x squared, negative 6 times 5, is a positive 30, and negative times a negative makes a positive, so 30x. And then negative 6 times 1 makes a negative 6, so that's going to be negative 6. So that's basically, in a nutshell, how you multiply a polynomial by a constant. All right, so make sure to remember, when you're multiplying by a constant, your, your terms stay the same. x squared stays x squared, x stays x, so on and so forth, okay? And I realize for some of you guys, this step might be unnecessary, but again, never can be too careful. Now, multiplying by a monomial. So the first thing you should notice here is that is not a monomial. All right. Here we go. So multiplying by a monomial. So when I'm multiplying by a monomial, what I have to realize is that um, what I have here is sort of going to change a little bit. Okay. Um, you do the same thing. I'm going to multiply both things inside the brackets because I have distribution property. And I go negative 4x times negative 7x plus negative 4x times negative 2. So I have, again, I multiply the coefficients. So negative 4 times negative 7, that's 28. But now I have this predicament, I have x times x. Well, what you really should know is that x times x is x squared. Okay? Just like 2 times 2, if you remember, our, they both have powers of 1. So you add the exponents. So that's 2 squared. Okay? y times y is equal to y squared. Okay? So anything times itself is going to give you that square there, as long as they have exponents of 1. Now, so that's going to be x times x, so that's x squared. Then I'm going to have my negative 4 times my negative 2, that's 8. And then I have x, well, I can't multiply x by anything here, so I'm going to buy 8x. And that is my polynomial when I have um, multiplying by a monomial, okay? So be always be careful, okay? And always think about, if you're having any trouble, think about the tiles, okay? This could be a, a rectangle with length, negative 4x, and width, negative 7x plus 2, if you really wanted to do it that way, okay? All right, guys, good luck with your studying. Hope this clears things up. Thank you.